Hey everyone, this is TechWares, and today is October 15th, 2025. I did a lot of research throughout the months and throughout these past two weeks. I've, uh, my analysis on this topic, I've come to the conclusion that leads me to believe that the previous Intel CEO and current CFO had put a pause on Intel Arc discrete uh, GPU development, okay? It has become increasingly clear that Intel's Arc discrete GPU program was paused, not canceled, it was paused, and then it was restarted, okay? And the consequences of that pause are being felt across Intel's roadmap. So the evidence of this, of this uh, the signs are everywhere. Um, and it, 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 it took these past two weeks that made it kind of really, really clear. So the BMG G31 GPU, okay, uh, this is likely to appear as the B770 if Intel keeps that naming, okay. This has been delayed, clearly. I mean, I'm not saying it's been delayed now. It it was delayed because they had put a pause on it. They had put a pause on Arc Discrete GPU development. This is why we got the B580, but we didn't get... And, the, and we got the B570, but we didn't get nothing else. And now, they that because they had restarted the development of BMG G31, it's going to be coming out either this quarter or Q1 of 2026. So Panther Lake, it was confirmed to use XC3 iGPU. Okay, but however, that's under the B-series branding. Wildcat Lake may also use XC3, showing how Intel's, uh, they're stretching the same GPU IP across multiple platforms. The branding switcheroo, uh, instead of a clean C series launch, Intel position XC3 that comes with Panther Lake under the B series. You know, so this kind of sets themselves up um, to, to later claim like Panther Lake used B series, so our new mobile X product with the X iGPU or our new integrated uh, GPU is the C series, right? But the truth is obvious, right? Alchemist, Battle Mage, and Celestial, and Druid. These, these were always code names for discrete GPUs, not the iGPU. So if C series hadn't been canceled, Intel could have simply said, "Xe3 is our mobile C series product," with the discrete C series coming later. Instead, they didn't say that. And in a PC World interview, Intel avoided naming C Series or Celestial at all, vaguely promising only that we will see that change with XE3P. Then came the Linux driver updates and Intel's own announcements. Nova Lake will use XE3P, and the new inference GPUs will also use XE3P. That told me everything. That told us everything. Arc Discrete was shelved. And GPU IP was being funneled into integrated graphics and AI. AI stuff like AI accelerators. Here's the good news. There's a revival or there has been a revival. But however, that revival, it comes at a cost. So... The good news is that this short-sighted decision was reversed and the development on discrete GPUs was restarted. But the damage is obvious. The first true C-series discrete GPU now looks massively delayed, possibly into Q4 of next year, Q4 2026. And the BMG... G31 GPU that's going to 
be coming with uh, B-770 or whatever they decide to call it. That was also delayed because they had to restart it, like I said. And then it w they were aiming for Q, uh, Q4 2025. This is the quarter we're in right now. Or it could even slip into Q1 2026. So let's hope the B-770 or whatever they, they decide to call it or the, the GPUs coming using the G, uh, BMG G31 uh, chip, GPU, SOC. Hopefully that's coming maybe next month, maybe December. Hopefully. So it was already delayed for, for a long time anyways. So everything is running behind schedule. That's the cost. That's the bad news. The good news is that these things were, were revived. The bad news is that, of course, they were delayed. Why? Because canceled projects, when they were when they revived, when they restarted, it create more friction and complexity than starting fresh. Teams lose teams lose momentum, roadmaps get scrambled, and the uh, integration becomes harder. So you can ask a lot of engineers out there, a lot of people that work in tech or maybe even in other fields, when something gets paused. And then you have to pick it back up later on. It's 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 kind of more, it's more frustrating. It's it's kind of uh, it's kind of worse. Starting fresh is always better, right? So yeah, that's the cost. Now, I want to give it a, a just. Um, I want to say who made this call. So, this wasn't an engineering failure. All right, it was a leadership decision, and based on structure, uh, based on Intel structure, and also the timeline. So, this the pause happened under the leadership of Pat Gelsinger. Though he, he was the CEO from 2021 to 2024. Also, under the current CFO. But the current CFO that was, you know, um, under Pat Gelsinger, you know, David Zinsner. Who is the who was the C, CFO during uh, Pat Gelsinger is uh, his time at Intel as CEO, and he's still currently the CFO under the new CEO, Lib Bhutan. So uh, David is the one that controlled the budget uh, the budgets then, and still controls the budgets now. However, I can't hundred percent say it was him, but. It what I can hundred percent say this happened under Pat Gelsinger. The current CEO, Lit Bhutan, he inherited this situation. He wasn't responsible for the pause, but he now decides whether to fully back the revival, which he's done. Lit Bhutan has fully or he he's decided to back the revival of Intel Arc discrete GPUs. Um, it's important to be, to be clear that none of this reflects on the Arc engineering teams themselves. The hardware architects, software developers, and especially the, gra uh, the graphics driver teams, they've done an outstanding job, all right, despite shifting roadmaps and leadership reversals and all these layoffs and you know the, the they've constant they've consistently delivered improvements stability and performance gains so the problem has never been the talent or the execution at the engineering level uh, this it's been the strategic decision at the top that have disrupted momentum okay and why does arc matter for everyone uh, whether your team Intel, Blue, Team Blue, AM, you know, Team AMD, Red, or Team Green, NVIDIA, the sentiment online is clear. People want ARC to succeed. When ARC wins, we as consumers win. Because more competition means better products, fairer pricing, and faster innovation across the entire GPU market. And here's the bottom line. Intel's discrete GPU program 
should have been treated as a long-term strategic bet, not a short-term accounting decision. Instead, uh, leadership's uh, wavering left arc delayed, fragmented, and fighting an uphill battle that it was already fighting. They just made the uphill battle work, uh, more frustrating. The engineers are doing the, their jobs brilliantly, and the real pl- problem lies with the executives who, who had pulled the plug. Then tried to restart the engine years later, or months later. Uh, so, in a market where NVIDIA and AMD are moving aggressively, Intel cannot afford this type of stop-start decision. And for consumers, the stakes are simple, man. The more ARC competes, the more we all benefit. So thank you guys for listening. I know this wasn't really, this is not really a YouTube video where you watch something visually and you uh, get it. I just have this uh, roadmap in the background. This is the latest GPU IP and product family roadmap from Intel. From the Intel Tech Tours 2025. Um, Yeah, hopefully you guys just had this in the background listening to it. It was just pretty much an audio. That's all I really wanted to do. But yeah, uh, after kind of years and months of research and you know just i just came to this analysis and my, my analysis leads me to believe that intel arc disk gpu was paused the good news is that pause is now start and i cannot wait for intel b770 i cannot wait for intel c series even if it's c uh, intel arc c c580 as long as they have something to sell that is discreet and they keep uh, iterating and keep improving, they'll keep selling. So thank you guys for listening. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Take care, everyone. Peace.